What is up today? We have the big one. We have the Infinity War showcase for my custom minifigures. I'm very excited. Um, Infinity War was a very interesting one to kind of come up with concepts for just because, I mean, Infinity War, at least for me, is like, if not the best wave or like, you know, set of sets from Marvel. It's either that or those set of Spider-Man sets that came out that had like the bridge battle. But I mean, Infinity War was stacked. Six sets, each had their own Infinity Stone. And while, of course, well, now we know the reason actually why for this, but like, of course, there wasn't very detailed prints for a lot of figures, but we know why now. It's because they had to put limitations on because back in like 2002, I believe, when they were in that learning curve, they had just introduced Star Wars. They had all these new themes. They were doing financially well. It was kind of a comeback because Star Wars kind of saved Lego. And so there was kind of this comeback thing and they were going back hard. And then, well, they had no limitations and they almost went bankrupt again. So they have to have a limit on leg printing, dual molding, and all that jazz in order to be able to put stuff in certain places. So... When I was coming up for this, I have a mix of figures I didn't do and some redone figures, which I think I did better justice. And I think that if you really tried, you could do any Lego figure better than Lego F, like just drawing it because you have so much more freedom. But that being said, I've talked too long. Let's get right into this. With set number one, we have Eitri. So Eitri here uses the Hagrid hair piece. He has the mid legs which are dual molded, half reddish brown, half black. Um, he has these, like, the metal arm things. Obviously, he doesn't have hands in the movie. Thanos took them off, so he could never build anything again. But you can't really do that with Legos, so they're just silver. And yeah, it's very simple. This was a bit of an interesting one to make because, of course, in relativity, he's, like, a giant. But in proportion to himself, he is... A, a dwarf, or is that the right word? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but we'll move on. E tree number one. Number two, here we have my version of Nebula. I think that this was an obvious choice for the Benatar set. You know, they only included six minifigures for some reason, but uh, you know, what, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, but yeah, Nebula here. So her metal arm has a bit more detail, uh, and then she's just wearing her Ravager outfit. So she has this. Dark red base, dual molded legs with half brown, these black detailings throughout, she has her belt and these straps and these little metal things and all that jazz and the little Ravager symbol on her arm. And also her head print is different. It's similar to Legos, added a bit more detail and mo the most notable thing is I made the stripe in the middle purple instead of dark blue, which they do for some reason even though her face is distinctly blue and, and purple, like very obviously blue and purple. Not even up for interpretation. Next up here we have Red Skull, uh, but obviously this is like the the Guardian kind of Red Skull. I really don't know how to describe it. He uses the Dementor piece for his legs. He has the tattered cape for that Dementor and a hood. So yeah, and then some pretty simple detailing. He has his Red Skull face, but no fancy expressions, just a, a kind of blank expression as, you know, he doesn't really have emotion per se. And uh, yeah, that's my Red Skull. Next up here we have my Iron Spider. The one I think they may have done the most disservice to as I love the suit. First off, darker red. He, for some reason, uses just like the regular old red. It may be dark red, but still, it, it isn't dark enough um, for the suit. Also, one of the biggest changes, the head. They use the head from the regular Spider-Man suit. It's supposed to be cloth, why? So for mine, I just kind of changed the eyes. And then dual molded legs was another huge thing. Detailing on the arm, and then kind of just cleaning it up a bit. But, I mean, Legos is good, but not great. And I really wanted to take my own swing at it. So yeah, that is my Iron Spider. Next up here, we have Thor. Now we still haven't gotten this. This Thor, I mean, you could make a custom of him, but it's kind of like, I, I don't know. It's just a bit strange to me uh, that, like, this is the most, the coolest version of Thor, man. And we don't have him. But 
you know, what are you going to do, I guess? But make it custom. So he has the eye patch. Obviously, he gets that removed. But we don't have a Thor with the eye patch. So I drew the eye patch. And then the other side wouldn't have one. It could have, like, the lightning eyes or just normal. Whatever you want to do. His hairpiece probably is something you noticed. It's in a brown. Uh, the spiky one works. But it just has... It's, it's brown at this point, right? I mean, like, I correlate Thor with... Uh, like that nougat hair piece and I, I really I really did have a tough time making the decision because you know there's this balance of like lego -fying it by adding these more saturated colors and accuracy and I just thought that like at this point he's a light brown and so that's what I went with his detailing is actually pretty simple he obviously has the chainmail arms and then those big six plates on his chest with some leg printing and a cape that's black on the inside and red right on the outside and those are the five figures for number one, which would be the Q ship. Now, I'll be honest here, couldn't think of anything for the sets. I mean, like, the Q ship makes sense, but why would Nebula, Thor, Red Skull, or Ichi be included for that matter? Like, Iron Man's the only, or Iron Spider's the only one that makes sense, but Q ship, I guess. Uh, minifigure number six is gonna be Bucky Barnes. So, Bucky here is another one that they did make, but I don't think they did him well at all. Now, we are, I, I believe, getting him in the CMF. I can't remember the rumors, but that makes sense. Because I remember being disappointed by the CMF. <laughs> and um, so, first off, serious black hair piece. Uh, he has not a full beard, just the dots. His uh, torso is pretty simple. Big thing, the black arm with the gold detailing. Now, I'm not even asking for the gold detailing. I don't even think they go do that but just the black arm right i mean that that that's what they had to do and then some simple detailing on the other arm and then do them on the legs half the, like a greenish tan and then half this light brown with some straps and little ruffles throughout i'm very happy with it i love his suit it's just like kind of flat and simple and it looks really good in lego next up here we have dead vision <laughs> this this works better now but um I, I honestly did not know what to do. So like, <laughs> dead vision. Pretty much is just regular vision with some extra detailing and muted colors. And then, yeah, that's that's essentially it. And then obviously the, the mind stone a little bit up top, but I just added a bit of my own. But for the most part, this is just Legos. <laughs> so yeah, uh, next up here we have Nomad Cap. I am so happy with this figure man i am so happy with it i'd love to see a more detailed one one day but geez louise this is probably one of my favorite figures i've made all my favorite figures are my cap figures i don't know why i, I don't know if i'm just weirdly good at drawing the caps or whatever i'm not trying to be egotistical i'm just saying so first off big thing hairpiece brown just like thor i think of cap as many others blonde you know blonde hair blue eyes that's the whole thing uh, but like he is distinctly brown hair in here, right? I, I can't be can't be wrong about that and I think that's reflected in the printing because on the beard on the original version It goes to brown like they know it's brown. So whatever. So yeah uh, But the hairpiece was a perfect choice now moving down to the torso I, I, I muted the colors a bit added significantly more detail and oh my gosh bro i'm so happy with it man i think capsules just translate perfectly to my style of drawing that may be it with the arms this is something lego could never do but it's like triple molded so like the very bottom is dark brown and then you have the tan parts because he has rolled up sleeves and that is one of the things that makes this so good i think and that's something lego really couldn't do unless you just didn't do the glove part you know, you just did the dual molded half dark blue, half tan. That would work too, and I think it would look as good, honestly. Um, or, or, or this, it, I don't know why I didn't just think of this, dual molded, dark blue, tan, and then just brown hands. Like, it's that simple. That looks so much better. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm, I'm getting angry now. But yeah, some shoulder pad printing. And then we got the dual molded legs with some knee printing some reds and then uh, the bottom half is black with brown stripes and uh, i'm so happy with nomad cap next up here we have green robe scarlet which i knew we'd be getting the i don't i didn't know if i was going to be doing the end game version of scarlet witch but i knew we'd be getting her and of course now that it's come to fruition i do have to point out that even though this isn't end game i did draw these and i drew end game before the end game sets and the infinity saga sets so 
Anywho, so her hair piece is like this in between a brown and red, which it will eventually become just straight up red. She just straight up has orange hair later. And yeah, very simple. She has green robes. I debated doing like a skirt piece, but it didn't look so good. She has those like light blue jeans underneath, underneath with brown shoes and that black and white kind of shirt thing. And yeah, that's my Scarlet Witch. Next up here we have War Machine. Uh, I'm a huge fan of War Machine, so, I mean, pretty cool. He's in dark gray with some, he's in gray, yeah, gunmetal gray with dark gray spots. Silver descent throughout, and then that badass red with some black and black to show, like, negative space. And, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And the set itself would be the Wakanda Skyline. Again, literally, you can think of something. Like, those architecture sets, you know? So, yeah, like that. But with our figures. And that's it. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed. I'm very happy with these. Uh, and check back in for Iron Man and the Wasp. We got Captain Marvel. And we got Endgame. Then Far From Home. Then we're done. And then I can finally showcase to you my Harry Potter sets. Which I have been working on since January 1st, I believe. Or late December, even. I've been working on those for a while. I'm on... I, I've been... I've drawn... Up t I've drawn uh, all through the MCU. And then I've drawn four sets probably around 25 to 30 figures per movie for Harry Potter up to number six. I'm way ahead. I'm just slow with making these videos. But that's all. Thank you for watching and goodbye.